Hi everyone, just a quick reminder that if you want to follow along the journey of making this dress in real time with me, both on Instagram and YouTube, then please consider supporting me on Patreon. You get to choose how much to pledge per month and you will receive live updates both on my close friends Instagram stories and access to all of the YouTube videos right now. Hope you enjoy the video. Here's the skirt. Um, over the course of this week, Oh, there's a pin. Ooh. Let me take that off the ground. So over the course of this week, I've been hand sewing this strip of studs, press stud thingies, I don't know what to call them, to the interlining of the skirt. So it's sewn to the cotton broadcloth. And if I turn this to the right side, um, you can see that it's not, it's not sewn to the satin at all. So yeah, I did that using tiny back stitches all the way around each of these popper stud things. Um, and I probably won't bother um, doing a running stitch like I said I would along the top and bottom edge of the strip of fabric. I think that will hold up fine. Well, I'm hoping it will. Um, I've just left the edges raw for now because I can't be bothered. And yeah, so the train ruffle is over here. It's just been sitting here. Um, so I guess the next thing is to attach this to the skirt. Um, I really don't know how this is going to go. Um, hang on. If I just take the train ruffle now, I'll just show you in real time so you can see. Basically, um, oh my gosh, maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> the train ruffle is so big. Oh, here we go. So if I find the end of the train ruffle, which is here, and the end of the strip of fabric, which is over here, I'm literally going to press this popper on top of that popper. Hopefully this works, please work. There we go. So I basically do that all across that strip of fabric. And then I think it will be time to put the skirt on the mannequin and see how it looks. And I'm actually really, really nervous because the train is, the train ruffle is really, really heavy. And um, I'm thinking that I might need to make a new train ruffle. Now, I don't want to do it just yet. I want to put this on the mannequin and wear it about and see what I think. Okay, this is not fitting in. Okay. Well, that's not ideal. Ooh. Okay, let me do this off camera and I will put the dress, the skirt, onto the dress form and um, hopefully all is well. So let me continue doing this and I will get back to you. Okay, that's better. So each one of these studs has a counterpart and it's all been pressed together, so time to put this thing on the dress form. Okay, so it's on the dress form and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, it doesn't seem to look like it has a really bulky um, train ruffle from the outside. Like I was, I was expecting this part where it attaches to the interlining to sink in a bit more, but it seems to be okay. Um, I haven't like tried moving the dress form around to see how the skirt part moves. Um, the other thing is like I haven't actually put in any crinoline around the actual skirt, so obviously that's not going to hold its shape very well. Um, but you can see how the train ruffle looks underneath a little bit. Um, I did find that I had a bit of trouble with trying to keep all of these um, ruffles facing in one direction. Um, I found a lot of them were shifting, like flipping upside down, um, which is not great. So I'm thinking I might have to do some sort of like tack stitching to keep all of these ruffles going in this direction. So I don't have that problem. But I don't know if you can see how that sort of plays out um, yeah but 
I'll leave it on the dress form for now. I do have to go to work now. Um, but I'm hoping that it will work out once I've done tacking stitches on the actual train ruffle um, to keep all of those ruffles facing one direction and also once I've actually hemmed the base skirt with um, crinoline or horsehair, I'm not sure what you call it, I guess it's both, um, to keep the shape of the skirt. Um, from the sides it looks fine. Like I don't think you can really tell where the, or maybe you can tell it just a tad, um, just about there, you can tell where the train ruffle ends, but it's not really obvious and there is going to be um, the netting overlay as well as all of the flowers to disguise any weird lumps and bumps. Um, the front looks okay, the sides look okay. I guess it's just, we'll, we'll have to wait and see how it turns out. <laughs> Um, yeah, the other thing I'm thinking is perhaps, perhaps the train ruffle is too much, as in there's too many ruffles in it, and I might actually take off some ruffles, and perhaps, I, I think what contributed negatively to the train ruffle is the fact that each of my ruffles has double layers of fabric, um, I think it would have been better to keep them just single layers of fabric for each of the ruffles to keep the weight quite light, but we'll see. We'll see how I feel once I've um, actually got the materials to finish off the skirt. Um, I'm still waiting for the crinoline horsehair stuff to come in the mail, um, but until then I guess all I can really do is just like either come to love this <laughs> or um, I could start on like a, a different train ruffle, but I don't have any materials for that. Um, and I don't want to go ahead and do that if I don't know for sure if that's the answer. Um, because this might actually work depending on how everything else goes, so yeah. Sorry I couldn't really provide much of an update, but um, yeah, that's what we're dealing with. First two layers are on. I've got the corset, bum pad, and the petticoat. I don't know why I said it was two layers, but I just think of it as the corset is the first, petticoat is the second, and now it's time to put on that. Okay, it's on, so it's quite heavy. <laughs> um, don't mind all of the little clips along the edge of the hem. Uh, those are just there um, to give me a visual indicator of where the hem will actually be um, because the cotton broadcloth layer underneath extends quite far out at the moment so yeah that gives me an indication of where the hem will be and I'm really sorry that I can't get any better shots than this um, yeah but um I think I'm just going to walk around and see how it moves and um, yeah this is about as much as I can do on the base skirt because I am still waiting for the horsehair crinoline stuff to arrive so I can finish off the hem but until then I can't actually really progress with this so I think I'm just going to walk around um, and then the next thing that I'm going to do for this project is probably make a start on the bodice or at least the mock-up. Thank you. 